All right, let's check this out. Ooh, nice. That looks cool. One thing that jumps out is a bit of a floppy, floppy toe. I know that's a weird thing to concentrate on, but I feel like it's a, there's just some floppiness in there. It's a good feel. There's a little bit of a pause right through there. It's super subtle, but when I look at this, it feels like there's a slight wah, 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 always on the on the downside here for that passing pose there. It feels like it's a little bit of a slowdown. It's not a pop or anything. It's just very subtle. I think overall, it's already looking very cool. Let me look at this view here. But I don't think it's a pop where like you have, you have a frame too many due to a cycle. But it's... It feels like, watch out. It feels like this is a really broad pop in the leg here. In terms of spacing so when i do onion skinning here right you got your foot here you get to here you get to there but bang goes forward and then we're back to kind of slow but then it's again right there so if i track the back side here this frame right there from this view doesn't look like much but there's a slight there it's subtle, but this one seems a bit strong. And you can see this if you cycle, right? There's a bit of a pop going forward. Is that only the other leg? No, this one too. From here to here. Bit strong. I just I just see a little bit of a a hiccup. And maybe what I'm reacting to is also this here. You know what happens when you go this far is you look at your thigh as it goes up and then we're locked in this space if that makes sense like you go from from uh, vertical to shoot to up but then we're holding this you know you can see this goes up and now we're stuck in that it's a bit of a tricky thing where it might be because of that pop there so it's going to help to give this another frame through there and ease into how that that leg goes up I don't see anything crazy in terms of pops of what the arms are doing. It's mostly that. What's this view? That's the front view. Yeah, I definitely feel smooth enough in the arms. I think you can probably go a bit broader in terms of either the inner arc of the foot or swinging on the outside. But in this case, I feel like you want to swing in a bit more to come back out. It's a bit straight, but only this one. If I look at the left one, it's actually, it goes pretty strong in. And then we, we are almost locked. We almost go the other way. It feels a bit strong where that is that kind of path versus smooth out and you can see how it suddenly shoots the left and then back to the right but this i like see how it goes in and and arcs out into into a step i think we can have that as well on this one and i don't know if you have head align head ik whatever you know the rigs have always lots of different names but there's something that feels a bit IK-ish or maybe it's because there's not that much rotation this way and this way like in Y and side to side loosening up a little bit I'm probably also reacting to this here this sudden drop here over two frames that doesn't really have that much drag or stop impact on the head that doesn't be all floppy but on this I would have a little bit of a nose up drag but you can see how the chin just goes down and then we lock a bit i know it keeps easing in because of what's going on through there but it feels like you want to just a bit more softness overlap where it just feels a bit stiff if you look at the shoulders like this area and the head how it kind of moves as one in terms of up and down but then at the same time there's a bit of a spacing pop a bit through there you go down and whoa suddenly to the left and then we go 
back to the right, up. It's on this one, on this side. It's a bit strong in the back and forth versus a little bit soft in your arcs. Yeah, it just feels a little bit stiff. Let me bring this back here. And this side, there you go. Even this hand here, you can see how it goes shoop, to the screen right. And then it holds a little bit. And visually, you can see this here. It's kind of locked in 2D space there. So keep going in and back. I don't see it really in the right one, except through here, these frames a bit locked. It's not crazy. It's not like it's, oh, this totally breaks the shot, but just generally, I feel like I see some pops in there, a bit of a pop hole in here, a bit of a stiffness in the up and down, but at the same time, still a bit some wiggle in there. And these are the ones. And if you're doing an update on this and sending this, it would also be cool to have one as a treadmill, just parent the camera so that we just have this guy not walking A to B, but just as a treadmill. But it's cool to see that the feet are not sliding. That's always a big deal breaker on any cycles when feet are sliding. Yeah, it's good stuff. And then watch out. Could be also be a bit softer on how that, that straight, it's a bit of a cheat in terms of how this is modeled, but how it pops into a bend here, I think we can soften that a little bit. Are really minimal you know it's like when you watch it over and over you start to see a bit more like my main impression again it's just little pops and then watch out that you forward translate is steady i might be just feeling that sudden drop but there's an ever so slight feeling of like forward stop forward stop forward just ever so slightly all righty that is that thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.